Uh, video of some of the footage of everything we've been doing the last couple weeks. It's been busy. We meant to do a, like a vlog every day type situation. Uh, things just get away from you between Hauser being here, trying to edit, working, trying to work on Jed's video. So here's here's when Norman came in. There's Hauser watching him come in. So that was his first day when Norman landed. He got here last Monday. Got here for CFI check ride. You guys want to start? Got here late. Got here late. So <laughs> so we're gonna throw in some CFI check ride tips here. Don't show up late for your first day with your instructor. Just like don't show up late for your check ride. Yeah. So they're leaving tonight because check ride's tomorrow morning. Check ride is scheduled for tomorrow morning. They're leaving uh, tonight because there's gonna be some weather issues in the morning. You know the ground portion is gonna probably last all morning and uh, and then probably fly after lunch. And the weather over there is supposed to be much better after lunch. So the footage you're seeing here is their first day. This is their first day they were out flying. We're out using the new gimbal. Well, I'm learning that and getting better with that, trying to get you some more exciting shots. Chris went out, started flying with Norman right off the bat. He's got a couple thousand hours of flight time. He's a commercial pilot, but work on the CFI. So He's a commercial pilot and he does a lot of ag spraying. I think he owns a business or uh, something like that and he, and he has some pilots underneath him. He's done a lot of ag spraying in the R-22. That's how he's built his time. And then the, the CFI is mainly for him to uh, help with that so he can teach, you know, um, future employment uh, pilots, you know, how to do some ag spraying or do whatever. So let us know if you got any questions for Hauser or me. We're going to keep rolling the video and we'll answer some questions while we're live. I'll make sure I bring up the page. Just give us a quick uh, rundown what you guys have done for a week and a half, I guess, or, or just kind of follow this uh, along here. Well, well really, it, it, you know, I have to be honest, this was my first uh, CFI applicant as I've been a instructor. You know, there's a little stress there with that. But uh, I think overall it was a good week, a good week and a half. There was some delays. We've got weather issues here, some other things. But really, it's like you've all, you've been saying all week. The CFI check ride is more of being a teacher. It's not so much flying. Yep. Being a teacher. So my gosh, I mean, between Gary and I, I bet Norman got 20, 20 plus hours of nothing but groundwork. Uh, in the past week and a half, probably more, because Gary actually went home with him over the weekend to get some, so Gary could log some R22 time, but they, they studied all day on Saturday. Yep. This past Saturday, so uh, it's unbelievable how much, uh, and I think flying-wise, I think he only got, I think we did six hours maybe, seven hours of flying, if that. We're, we're showing you the top 10 check ride tips. Next book's getting ready to come out. It was just, uh, I learned some things, just being as, uh, as an instructor, you know, and I, I don't even know. It's been it's been a long week, week and a half. All right, here's where Hauser's getting ready to get his his new item that you see him wearing when we come back live with the camera here in a minute. We got a some new oh fold downs. This is you, right? Aren't you in this uh, one? No, I think this yes. is no, I think yeah, this is. Well, maybe this is me. I don't remember now. It depends on when you filmed it and which one you used, because I know you took several clips. Have you even seen so, these clips yet? Yeah, yeah. It all depends on which clip you used. So. so they were out doing full downs and they did a bunch of them. And I was out there practicing filming. Got some pretty nice shots on the full downs. A lot of content that we haven't got to uh, yet and got edited yet. Leave us some comments. Please give us a like. And what else are we gonna talk about? There's some footage from Gary's drone. That's from the, uh, what is this drone? Oh, I can't think of the name of it right now. It's a tie is it a typhoon? typhoon typhoon yeah yep so yeah so that was uh i i know i was in there for sure we were doing some uh lte situations and uh, rolling off the throttle and doing a hover auto and you know there was a couple times in there where i tried to be the stubborn student and i wouldn't let go of the controls so i was trying to lose control of the aircraft a little bit let him uh take over you know i was that's one of the things too is you got to 
I was trying to teach him, you know, how how far out of control do you let your student get before you got to recover? And that's kind of what we were doing. Here's you guys just today. I shot this earlier today. So the important thing here is, you know, typical Norman showed up like anybody else. And he's like, oh, you know, it's just hard to get up and teach and teach to someone that you know knows the information already. And so he struggled like most people the first day here, worried about what he's going to do. And then this is when him and Chris are in, down in the, in the big pilot's room and getting ready to let Norma do some teaching. And the cool thing for me watching, because Chris says, well, why don't you sit in too so you can give me your opinion. And to see the transformation in a week and a half of the first day being real shy, like most people are, to today when Chris gives him something to teach. And he says, I'm going to give you 15, 20 minutes, just kind of like the way the examiner does, to teach something off the cuff, because he's got a couple things planned. But he said, here's one unplanned. So you can see he's got his, he gets right up there, starts drawing the board. He has his lesson plan open. There's Hauser getting vodka out of the machine, to, oh, I mean, water out of the machine downstairs. <laughs> while Norman's getting ready, both went back in, and even with the camera on, he's in there writing away. And once he starts teaching, he uses the board. He uses his, references his notes. He uses the helicopter to actual, you know, hold it and move it around, yeah. demonstrating what's going to happen. So with he's, you know, he's got a lot of props. He's got the dry erase board there. He's drawing stuff out. He's got the helicopter, the toy there that he uses to, you know, simulate some things. And uh, uh, it was, it is kind of neat. It, it's always neat to work with a student uh, um, and see their progress. Because you're right. When Norman came in here, he's he's a shy guy. He, it, you know, he's not like me, I guess. <laughs> well, I remember how much I struggled. Uh, he, you know, very quiet, just, you know, he knows the maneuvers, but just putting the maneuvers into words was his issue. But I'll tell you what, and, uh, you know, he came in last Monday, so here we are Wednesday, a week and a half later, and uh, he's almost done like a 180. He's up there teaching, knows what he's doing, and there I am looking uh, as he's getting ready. It's probably bad. It looks bad as an instructor on his phone, but actually I'm looking at weather to see if we're going to be able to get out into the air this afternoon um, while he's getting ready to to teach there. He's still working on the lesson plan there. But uh, that's Gary and his dad stopped by seeing. So dad was in talking. Just stepped down there real quick while we we're taking a little break. I'll check Facebook comments here real quick. We'll get ready to go back to your camera, and then we'll roll this footage again because we're kind of proud of. We're yeah, up in the game. We're we're doing new stuff. We're not doing the same old, standing in the same lot place. A lot of classwork, really. A lot of, like I said, I I I'd have to look at the numbers that we got in his book. But Norman was here every day from 8 a.m. until, you know, depending on the time, until 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock sometimes every day and then like i said he went home for saturday and sunday and uh, gary went with him and they did uh, they they did like five or six hours of ground on saturday so norman put in a time norman's gonna do he'll do all right it was a learning experience for me like i said it was my first cfi applicant i'm eager to see how it goes unfortunately i'm not gonna go with him um gary's gonna go with him but he'll be fine he'll be just fine all right, and then here we are going back to the Hauser cam. We appreciate the likes and the shares. I think uh, I don't see any other specific comments in there, so we'll roll the we'll roll that footage again. Just we're kind of proud yeah. of it, and we can throw yeah, in some. It's, it's in, been a in, good week, good week and a half. They're heading over tonight. Like you said, they're going to stay the night. They're going to start early. The examiner wants to start by 7:30 in the morning, and uh, and not only that. Oh, that's something else I learned. So Norman's going over to get his. CFI and a Robinson R22. So in order to instruct in the R22, he's actually going to have to give another flight with the examiner um, to get the endorsement to instruct. So not only is Norman going for a CFI check ride, but after he passes all that, then he's going to have to get with the examiner again, talk about the SFARs, and then he's going to go have to fly with the examiner for another 20 minutes or however long it takes to get the uh, CFI endorsement for the 22. Yep. So he's actually doing like a check ride and a half tomorrow. So it's going to be a very long day for him, but he'll be just fine. Cool. Well. So yeah, I'm eager. I'm eager to, to hear her back tomorrow. 
What else did we learn? I'm trying to think of anything else that popped up. Again, you mentioned earlier, for any of the people that are going for your CFI, it's all about being a teacher. Mm -hmm. It's about being, you know. Well, I bet, uh, I bet for the amount of flying, I bet we did three times as much as ground. I would probably say that easily, yeah. if not more. As the, way, as the way it should be. We probably logged, I think, six or seven hours maybe in the air, if that. And the rest of the time is just nothing but ground. So, it was good. It was fun. All right. Well, I guess we should probably wrap it up because you're getting ready to head home. Those guys just took off. They're probably out. Yeah, they should be still. Oh, they're probably already. I think I heard them start up. Oh, already. did you? Yeah, and they're probably, they got a, it's probably out an hour and a hour and 15, hour and 20 minute flight. They're going to have a pretty good tailwind going. We got some weather coming through, so they're avoiding some of that. And uh, I think I hear them right now revving up. Yep, running up. So. All right. Well, like and share this video, helicopterground.com. Uh, Norman is a member, as we require. You yes. Gotta, you got to be a member yes. to come here. And he said that he watched all the videos before he got here. Um, he didn't have all his materials, but that's because he did have them ordered. But due to the weather that we got up here, uh, it delayed his delivery. So, But he was able to get all those materials uh, when he went back home. Awesome. So. Helicopterground.com. We're going to take off. Thanks for liking and sharing, and we'll see you in the next video. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. We're going to go down and see if that's him. Put on your shirt. I heard something come in. Well, he's going to the pumps at the moment. Nice to meet you, Norman. Got all your stuff in there? Yep. Ready? Okay. Ready to go fly in it. Right, yeah, you might want to just bring it all upstairs and then uh, we just, uh, we'll do some log book stuff. Here. All right, so what I want you to grab when you get a chance to get situated. Stay a little bit warm and try to get a maybe a landing and another takeoff. So this is the first time Gary and I both seen it. I designed it over the weekend, but this is the first we can look at it here. What's your first impression, Gary? Wow, pretty cool. And we're, I'm going to use the uh, picture of Jed because Jed not only is a success story, but we did a marathon ground session the week before his private to get him through it. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, a little bit in the book. So we're going to add that chapter, you know, about the cover and just talk a little bit about Jed and. How much he struggled and how we just did like a marathon all day long for like five days straight to get him ready. So I'll flip it. Let's take a look at it. I didn't know that about Jed. Yeah. Wow. So we can do this. I like this. This is what's fun. Put that thing in there. Oh, very nice. <laughs>